What's up, y'all? This is a. Um, I'm going to show you how to replace this part right here, which is a PCV valve. Sorry about the focus. Let me back up a little bit. Got it from AutoZone. Just a little simple PCV valve right here. It's a common part. Pretty easy. Pretty cheap. About three dollars uh, at AutoZone. Three twenty-nine to be exact. Three dollars twenty-nine cents. Um, this is a 2001 Buick Park Avenue Ultra with the supercharge as you can see it's got the supercharger right here which this is the supercharger um, top or whatever but first where you, where you want to start <clears throat> I've seen some videos on it and it wasn't real clear it pissed me off so I like to be a little bit more thorough if you show on the video and I like that half half ass shit so this is what we'll do um, this is pretty simple you want to remove this cover um, you want to start basically by taking off the oil cap. I've already done it. Um, that's pretty simple. I can show you another video on how to get this cover off if you got a problem with it. No big deal. That's pretty self-explanatory. So we're going to set that to the side. Okay. Once you remove that cover, I had already had this. I put this cap back on it just so I didn't drop nothing in inside the oil, inside the valve cover. So once you remove this cap, then you got access to the where the PCB valve will sit. Um, if you got a 3800 without the supercharger, just a regular base 3800, some cobwebs haven't been under here in a while, but if you got a basic 3800, the PCV valve is going to sit where the supercharger is. But I have a supercharge, so my PCV valve isn't there. So I was looking online, looking at some videos, I couldn't find one. I found a half ass video where a guy showed me where it was at, and you wouldn't be surprised how incomplete his video was. So. Again, if you have a supercharged 3800, your PCB valve is located right under this thing with the two screws on it. Right here. Right there. That's where it's at. So, we're going to get to it with a 10 millimeter. It takes a 10 millimeter or whatever else you want to use to take these two things off. So, we'll remove these and we'll see what's under there. Okay, I'm back to it. And now that I released it, um, like I said, it was an incomplete video. That's my first time changing it on this car. I had this car for years, never changed it. Um, I just figured I would change it because it's pretty cheap. It's supposed to be pretty simple. But this one is pretty simple, but this is, you want to know exactly what you're doing. So this is what it is. After you take these 10 millimeter bolts off, um, they're on there pretty good. Not too, not too hard. Just use a ratchet. Underneath it, there's actually a gasket in between here which I had no idea see they never said anything about a doggone gasket so there's a gasket in here that I'm gonna go by I cracked it or it cracked as it was coming off it's just like a little paper gasket so we're gonna set this little housing to the side okay don't lose your bolts I'm tripping I'll set it up here so I make sure I don't lose the bolts okay next Come back to the PCV valve where you took the cover. Come back to where you took the cover off, and there's a spring that sits in here, which is right here, okay? And that'll just come right up like that, okay? All right, now pay attention to how your PCV valve sits in there, and you'll be able to get it out with no problem and put it back in with. Whew. Most like gas. Eww. All right, set that spring to the side. Now, the PCB valve, as you can see, you can see it, it's right there. It's looking like it's sitting upside down, so I don't know how I'm going to get it out. Hmm. See, it didn't really tell you, because it doesn't just come out. Let me put the spring back in here, see if I can spring it out. Well, there's no way that that thing's coming out of there. So, that's another debacle that they didn't tell you. It just doesn't come out. Maybe it sits down in there pretty good. Maybe you need some wire. Um, some needle nose pliers to get it out. Give me a second. Let me go grab some. Okay. Now we're back. And let me go ahead and show you how to actually remove the PCB bell. We know that's it. That's the top of it. You can see that little bitty circle. Uh, that's just the top of the PCB bell. So what we're going to do is you take some needle nose pliers and it's kind of in there it's not really 
snug just grab the top of it like that and just wiggle and it comes right out okay there's the old one full of oil gas whatever else I'm gonna smell it because sometimes you can tell what the condition is when you smell something okay so there's the old one so it goes in just like that so there's the old one okay that wasn't smart but that can sit right there and now we'll put the new one in okay now I got the old one and the new one and I'm just looking at them to see if there's anything different what I did notice is on the new one as you can see um, okay it just comes naked nothing pretty much some numbers on it um, this is the part but on the old one I noticed there's an o-ring if you look at right down here there's an o-ring so I'm gonna pull that o-ring off and put it on there because it didn't come with an o-ring and nobody will tell you that so let's do that okay I got the o-ring off of this one and I'm just gonna put it and just slide it on the new one okay just pull that up from the bottom the bottom and just slide it up until it sits right on it just like that see I would have never known about that o-ring because it didn't show me in the video so it does take an o-ring um, if your old one doesn't have an o-ring you might want to go find an o-ring that goes for your PCB valve I've never known a PCB valve to take an o-ring okay so now we're just gonna reinstall it in reverse order now we can just sit it down in here Okay. I'm guessing. Hmm. That's weird. That doesn't want to go down in there. Uh, isn't that something? Hmm. The new one doesn't want to seat properly. Okay. That's interesting. So. Didn't expect that. Let's see what the old one does. There's the old one. Old one just sat right in there. Okay. The new one's having a little bit of issues because of the O ring. Same size PCB valve. So maybe we got the. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Let's see. Maybe you need some oil. There we go. Just kind of force it. You'll hear it. Kind of not want to go down in there okay once it's down in there it's in there okay it won't go any further you don't have to push so far down in there now you just want to put the spring just like you took it off right back on top like that okay put the spring right back on top and then just take your bracket and um, I'm not gonna put the bracket on yet or I'm not going to put it all the way on because I want to go get, I don't know, that gasket. If I should change that gasket or is that going to make a real big difference? I don't know. I don't think it's put on with any kind of sealant. Then again, I had no idea. But that is interesting. Never known I had a PCV valve gasket. Hmm. So that's what they don't tell you. See, it says PCV says it right on there PCB at the top right there so hmm what I'm gonna do I never known it was a gasket sat just like this so I'm gonna sit it back on here again you don't want to lose them bolts because I'm gonna fuck this probably be hard as hell to get out that engine you drop those down in there screw them on there like that I guess that's not gonna go down all the way into you because it's spring loaded I forgot about that spring so it's not gonna sit like it should until you get your ratchet and put it in there the right way and now spring will start to compress and do what it's supposed to do I don't think the gaskets gonna be a problem and for some reason it is guess what I'll change the gasket, but I think I'm fine. 
it was a little corner of the gasket that was chipped off. Um, if it makes a big difference, I'll be able to tell. So we're just going to tighten that back up. Now it's all secure. PCB valve. I screwed it back down. I didn't change the gasket. Uh, I don't think I really damaged it that bad. Uh, you can change the gasket if you be, if need be, um, or if you want to. But that's the video. I know it probably took about 10 minutes because I've been doing this and that. But I'm going to be a little bit more thorough on how to change that. Hopefully that helps some of y'all out with 3800 supercharged um, motors. But that's what it is. Uh, next video will be probably on uh, how to add some oil uh, to the supercharger. And I believe you do it by removing this little nut right there and add oil right inside here. But that'll be another um, video some other time. But there you go. PCB valve replaced. Old one. Trash.